Name this tune. We'll have a gay all time because gay also means happy and meant happy for a long time before and can mean have more than one meaning. Hello. Welcome to the Good Info Cafe, where there is music, fun, fellowship, and serious big picture concepts. Also, feel free to sing along, even when I'm making up a tune. I think I have a lot of cool stuff to deliver today, so I may be reading off my notes. Not a script, notes. And, um, oh, I can't remember now. So, content policy. Oh, I'm not going to rush. I'm going to see if I can get all this out and not rush and still stay within 10 minutes. The content policy at this point for this potential series, if the content helps for good, it's welcome here. If not, it's not welcome. Um, I was looking for my handwritten, uh, I have a notebook of my songs where I wrote out the lyrics and the typed, even on a typewriter, I think. Yeah, it is from a typewriter, some of them. So from 30 years ago, I've written more than 50 songs. Some have been on the radio, but nothing big time. Got a few little royalties. But anyway, um, in California, South Africa, uh, that it's been played on uh, Nashville, the East Coast. All right. I'm, I was looking for that notebook. Can't find it. Then I was looking for the um, Saudi Arabian Kafiyu. 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 the the thing they wear on the head that I got an authentic one from a friend of mine. And I can't find that. And then my letter of recommendation from Henry Kissinger... Uh, back in 1989, 1990, he, uh, because of my neighbor, asked him to do that. And I came across some things, so I don't even know if this will come through, but there is um, when Denise Williams, a singer, came to Howard University and was doing a, a class about singing, and there I am right there. <laughs> so, not exactly sure what this is about, but I came across these things. So it does give context. <laughs> then um, there's me right there and there um, in high school soccer and there's the friend who's a uh, great friend one of my favorite people in the whole wide world gave me the kafiyu kafia the kafia because he went to saudi arabia and um and then uh and then here's I was, i'm playing football <laughs> that's so funny i'm doing it i'm over here we we're just lined up for the pictures so i'm a little offside but um you know all I'm an American kid doing all that stuff, but soccer is what I play most of. Then my first coach, so that's when I had hair, and my first team at the high school that I taught at and went to, and um, here's 10 years later with less hair. So anyway, just organizing, and I came through, <laughs> came across that, and a, uh, who, what is this? Musicians, capo that I really rarely ever use because I want to learn the chords first. Now I'll use it because I've seen some big time people use it. And I got my brushes. What happens if I hit the uh, phone? And then, um, the subject for today, <laughs> that's my knee right there. That's my birthmark. I was born with that. And I was wearing shorts at the time. There's my leg and my foot. So that's what I need a lot of feedback from you guys on. And I really appreciate the ones who are showing up um, each day and really appreciate your feedback. So um, something else that came um, clear to me, and then I'm going to go over this subject here, is the serenity prayer. Pray for the serenity to accept that which I cannot change. And I always saw that until yesterday, I think it was, as, um, oh, I got to adjust my hat. Okay, uh, there we go. Uh, you know, adjust the hat. The face always itches when I start this. So, 
the serenity prayer, the serenity to accept that which I cannot change. Huge. But I always looked at it as those difficult things in life. We just can't change them. You, know, you want to change and make the world a better place. But these things just can't change these and usually that with a negative tint. Then I realized the ser- that when you eat, have lunch, you sometimes have to pause while you're talking. And then also that there are things that are true, that are good, that you can't change. Like the beauty of a sunset. What are you going to try to change? Oh, I don't want sunsets. I mean, our culture has done that with all the lights, but I think you get the point. There are good things, good things that I learned about myself that might be hard to face, but they're ultimately good things. You just have to face reality. So the serenity to accept that which I cannot change can also be things that are good that you can't change, but that you're running away from because it's a lot of responsibility. And then the other one was eye for an eye. So eye for an eye makes us all blind, so that has a negative connotation. But it also has the other side, which is if you take an eye, you replace it with an eye. Or let's say you steal gold, you replace it with the gold. When you realize that um, you shall not steal <coughs> and you need to replace it. So it has that positive side, not just t- uh, they took your eye, so you take their eye. But when you do something wrong, you uh, replace in kind. And so that's the positive side of that one. And I knew that one within the last 20 years, but that's similar kind of thing. All right. Subject is the birthmark. So I was born. (laughs) It's funny that I'm doing this too, but I was born with that birthmark. Once again, my knee. All right. Just a little above the knee. And with all those dots on there, I'm not going to try to figure out about the dots, just the moles or whatever. But... (laughs) <laughs> Look at the time. All right, seven, whatever. So, I over I covered it up when I was younger. When we go to the beach, I try to get you couldn't get long bathing suits, but I try to get the ones that go down to the knee and cover it up. And um, so, felt self conscious about it. And then, as an adult, I was like, "What what country is that? Hey, maybe that's some country, and I'm going to be king of that country." <laughs> but I never found one kind of Australia, whatever. But then a week ago, I'm like, I'm going to really look because now the internet, you can really look. So that's what I came up with. This is what I found that this looks the most like this city um, at this point. So I'm looking for help. How many people have just overall, how many people have birthmarks? How many on the thigh? How many with this shape? Not to mention those dot things. And is there anything that my birthmark looks more like than that city there? And so, let's see if I can do this. So, this is not part of that city. So, that gets blocked off. How can I do this? So, that's, those are the two right there. Is that getting it properly? So, it's this to there. And so, I see that there and this look at the city is a southwest angle um, this is west and that's east and that's north and that's south so this would be tweaked like that but I turned it so it resembled my birthmark so that's here here this is not part of that wall this is walls also which makes it very defined and then that and it's got this little bump here it's got that little bump here and it goes or I don't even know if I'm keeping it on here and I go around here, and then that's pretty straight, and that's very straight. And then you come this way, and it's kind of rocky, and it comes around this way. And that's what, and that's a, a Google shot, so that's the real. But this is a valley, that's a valley, that's a valley. This is not, I don't think, but it's walls. So it's very defined. And that's what I found last week, and I've lived with it for a week to be like, Really? Are you sure? So I've been um, critically thinking about it. And then I, it, it does look like it's what I found that looks the most like my birthmark on my thigh. So I just wanted feedback from you, you all, you awesome visitors at the Good Info Cafe.